the true man. What is meant by a true man? The true men of old were not afraid when they stood alone in their views. No great exploits, no plans. If they failed, no sorrow, no self-congratulation in success. They scaled cliffs, never dizzy, plunged in water, never wet, walked through fire, and were not burnt. Thus their knowledge reached all the way to Tao. The true men of old slept without dreams, woke without worries. Their food was plain. They breathed deep. True men breathe from their heels. Others breathe with their gullets, half strangled in dispute. They heave up arguments like vomit. Where the fountains of passion lie deep, the heavenly springs are soon dry. The true men of old knew no lust for life, no dread of death. Their entrance was without gladness, their exit yonder without resistance. Easy come, easy go. They did not forget where from, nor ask where to nor drive grimly forward, finding their way through life. They took life as it came, gladly, took death as it came, without care, and went away, yonder, yonder. They had no mind to fight Tao. They did not try, by their own contriving, to help Tao along. These are the ones we call true men. Minds free, thoughts gone, brows clear, faces serene. Were they cool? Only cool as autumn. Were they hot? No hotter than spring. All that came out of them came quiet, like the four seasons. The Turtle Kang Zhu, with his bamboo pole, was fishing in Pu River. The Prince of Chu sent two vice-chancellors with a formal document. We hereby appoint you Prime Minister. Chang Zhu held his bamboo pole, still watching Pu River. He said, I am told there is a sacred tortoise, offered and canonized 3,000 years ago, venerated by the Prince wrapped in silk, in a precious shrine, on an altar, in the temple. What do you think? Is it better to give up one's life and leave a sacred shell, as an object of cult, in a cloud of incense three thousand years? Or better to live as a plain turtle, dragging its tail in the mud? For the turtle, said the vice-chancellor, better to live and drag its tail in the mud. Go home, said Chang Zhu. Leave me here to drag my tail in the mud. Starlight and Non-Being Starlight asked Non-Being, Master, are you or are you not? Since he received no answer, whatever, Starlight set himself to watch for Non-Being. He waited to see if non-being would put in an appearance. He kept his gaze fixed on the deep void, hoping to catch a glimpse of non-being. All day he looked, and he saw nothing. He listened, but heard nothing. He reached out to grasp, and grasped nothing. Then Starlight exclaimed at last, This is it! This is the furthest yet! Who can reach it? I can comprehend the absence of being, but who can comprehend the absence of nothing? If now, on top of all this, non-being is... 
who can comprehend it?